rhythm with the pick and roll there with Jeff? Uh, it was great, you know. Something we just tried to, uh, it was a play that was working on one stay with it, and we did a great job of uh, executing on it. Wiggins with the three blocks, the hustle play on Austin Rivers. What did you think of just his overall effort tonight? I mean, it was amazing, you know. Um, Wig is always up for the for the challenge, and uh, Andrew understands the magnitude of these games, and he takes a lot of pride in it. He's always talking about, you know, we need this one, we need this badly, and he's, uh, you know, you can see um, the determination in his face too, um, and his actions trying to get to the playoffs. So Andrew's doing uh, everything and more to uh, help us get there. And what changed during the of the defense there in the third quarter when you came out after halftime? I mean, we got some stops. Capitalizing on the high pick and roll, and um, just find ways to. Sometimes, you know, we had a lull. I think where we were, you know, they, we were kind of trading buckets, but the thing was that they were hitting twos and we were hitting three. So, um, you know, we were just always gaining a point in possession. So, um, we did a great job all night of um, staying with the game. Even in the first half, we had a great defense, held in the 43.7 percent, I believe, and. Um, we were shooting 55, but you know, it was second chance points and everything that were hurting us the most. Shooting threes for two, does that feel different enough? <laughs> Who, me? No, for, the, for, the, for, the, for you guys as a team. Oh, I mean, it was different. I mean, we were getting in ones, though. We were getting in ones, we were getting some threes. Wig was on fire from three. Um, Wig was, uh, was the man of the game. He was, him and Jeff were uh, taking over. Why do you think he is so effective in that high is it just because he's so dangerous? He's so dangerous. Himself? He can shoot. You know, he has the, flo his floater is, uh, is amazing, and his ability to go to the basket and use his trickery and the finesse he has around the basket is, uh, is deadly. So I mean, when he he's kind of he gets a high pick and roll like that, and he sees the big and it's one on one. He gets a chance to really freestyle and play uh, this kind of game. Carlos has a streak of 12 straight years of losing seasons. I know you guys have bigger goals than this, but is it nice to see the franchise take this step? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was something. That was, inevitable. that was inevitable to end, so i uh, glad it was able to end with us uh, on this team. But we got a lot more work to do, like you said. We got uh, 10 games left. And, um, you know, for uh, me, Wig, Tyus, a lot of us, it's uh, the biggest stretch of our career so far. You kind of navigated this stretch of pretty difficult games fairly well, would you say? I mean, we, uh, we traded with some water, some dark water at one point, you know, losing some games and dropping some. So, um, I don't look at it like that. I think we, you know, we had to move on. It couldn't go back and change the outcome. So um, we had no choice but to go out and find ways to win. I mean, uh, did a great job against Golden State. Um, great job with Washington. Great job in, uh, tonight. You just got to find ways to win no matter who it is.